Hello and welcome to our CAD clip on uh, railings and posts. A uh, couple of tips for you. We've got a couple railings in here. These are all the same railing type. So I've got one on a curved stair, one up on this mezzanine here, and another one over here, and even another one over here going on the spiral stairway. So it's all the same railing type. So we're going to just show you a couple things and it's going to affect uh, or impact all of those because they're all the same railing type. So if let's just look at what we have here to start with. So if we look at this railing we can pick on here. We say edit type and it's going to have the railing and it's going to have the balusters. So we're going to be talking mostly about the balusters but let's have a look at the railing. The railing are the horizontal um, pieces that will inevitably be sometimes they stick out there's a handrail and then a top rail and a the bottom rail and depending on where the railing is but this is just a residential one we need to add some intermittent posts in here that go down to the floor so it's, let's have a look at the railing structure itself so we have two railing profiles going around one called rail low at six inches and one at rail top at three inches and then the profile it's using is it over here and you can pick different profiles off of here depending on what's loaded and then it has a material so that's pretty straightforward this should probably be three foot six by the way hit apply and that'll stretch up a little bit okay propagate out so that's nothing really new or fantastic now we're going to talk about the baluster placement right now we look we've got just certain baluster that is being you know swept across there continuously so let's have a look inside of here Notice we have the main pattern and then we have the posts down here. So when we look at that we can say okay we have the regular baluster that's going around in this case and then we can see which family it's using. So we can click on here and we can say okay it's using a square three quarter inch baluster and you can find that under railings in your project browser. The bottom of the um, that baluster is at the low railing, starts at the low railing and goes with no offset above or below up to the top railing with no offset above or below and it has distance from the previous one is two inches. Okay, And then we have the end pattern. I think what we're going to do is we're going to take this and get rid of this and put this in a zero. We're going to hit apply and that's actually not going to um, uh, oh, just a sec, that was necessary there. Hit OK on that. And so we want to put in the distance. That's right, we have, we have to have the distance from the first and then the second one inside of there. Which makes sense. And now we'll, we'll have a look down in here at the pattern. So it says justify by center. So it's going, you know, at each segment. So the start and the end of that start here and the end there or vice versa depending depending on which way it was drawn. So it's going to continuously sweep it along centered. And in here we're going to see we have posts. So we have the start post, we have corner posts where it has a corner and then we have an end post. So right now I'm going to hit apply. We're specifying the start post as a three quarter inch. So let's change that to be a um, square 1.5 inch. In fact, we're going to change them all to be 1.5 inch just to so they stand out a little bit. And then if we hit apply and hit OK and OK, what's going to happen if we click out is we're going to get a post here at this corner. We can swivel this around. Okay. Oh, and you know what? We forgot to set the top, but there is a little post there. And there's going to be another little one over there. And you'll notice there's the same thing on the stairway one as well. Okay, and that stairway railing, by the way, should extend out a little bit more with a flat spot. So let's address this post problem. So let's move this over here. Um, we'll pick our edit type because this is already selected. We're going to go into here and look what it says. The base is of the posts are at the host, which happens to be the floor but the top is set to be railing low. There's your problem. It should be up to the top railing. So no matter which post, whether it's the start, end, or corner, we want it to go up to the top railing. We hit apply, 
and now we're going to get this nice one and a half inch post. Hit apply, hit OK, hit OK, working our way along. So now with the start and end of, of these railings, you're going to have a little bigger post. Okay, and that would have happened as well over here because it's the same railing type. Okay, so now to get intermittent posts, what we need to really do is break the segments down of the actual sketch. And you should use accurate numbers and some reference planes. I'm going to go a little bit random here, but you would measure it out and put some reference planes in there uh, to get the right spacing. So I say edit path on here, and all I have to do is use my split tool. And once again, you should probably use reference planes and equal them all out to do your splits, but I'm just going to do this split split and then I'm gonna go along the arc and say okay I want one there and there and maybe I don't like that so I can take that pull it over pull this over so again I'm being a little bit sloppy you could measure that all out and then hit finish and now you're gonna get your posts in between and if you did your spacing right then you'll get all of that um, all the spacing in here will be centered within those okay because if you pick on here and you say edit type and you go back to your balusters the main pattern as long as this says centered between each segment you're going to be okay okay notice if you change this to say never this will automatically change to say no post so if your balusters say never this will default if you change this back to say each segment this retains the never so you have to remember to go back down and reset this hit apply and then you won't have a problem so remember when you're playing with these if you do say do not break the pattern it disables the posts completely and because we have our splits in there we're okay so we hit okay and okay and we're done now I could just go to my top view over here zoom in down to this railing pick on that top one that's on the floor which is hosted by the second floor edit the path once again I would put in some nice reference planes and I just use my split tool and say okay you know and you can use your uh, dimension arc length tool as well not very good spacing I agree on that but hit finish click out I'm gonna do all of these at the same time I'm gonna pick this guy I'm going to say uh, edit the path and then do my split. Now railings also, notice I'm going to do this at the midpoint of one of the risers. I'm not going to do it right at the riser line. Hit finish, click out, grab this guy, edit the path, grab my split tool, one. I should probably have these at the same place as the op opposing one not paying attention but that's okay now pick on my stair shift middle mouse button now I've got some intermittent posts that are a little bit bigger the one in a half inch post and of course to fix this guy here at the top I would go in and edit path and then go back to my top view and what this guy needs is he needs to come out to here and then we need to do some do a little um, a little split right here click and then pick on this little segment probably this would probably come out a little bit further and we would say um, slope make it flat and then if we hit finish and then pick out then we can take this guy wrap it around edit path and take this guy bring it out to here draw another segment line those up of course and finish click out a little sloppy again but that would be easy to just kind of fix shift middle mouse to swivel back around and then we've got some a railing with some kind of a post configuration we've got our other posts on there so you have to go into here edit this the railings fine we need to go in here and we need to make sure that we've set all of these to be a specific uh, 
family type make sure you set the top and bottom in this case the railing itself is being hosted either by the floor or by the level or by the stair but this is a good place to start you can specify a railing on here if you want as well we do have lots more CAD clips on rail or railings if you go to our our website and have a look uh, then you set make sure you specify your top um, and you can also extend above that if for some reason you wanted your you know your post to stick up from there you just change this number okay and then these spacings in here help kind of divide it up based on the, the size of your uh, of your your family over here and hit OK and OK and of course the big tip is to make sure that you split this because otherwise it can it thinks it's one big railing so the start and end are here and here when you do edit path then you go in and you split these into segments now you have start and start and start and start end and that way it makes sense when you divide up your patterns and stuff rather than dividing it up all the way across you won't get those intermittent posts so little tip on uh, railings and posts and that would work the same way uh, with our um, spiral stair let's go in and do it pick on this railing edit the path uh, grab our little split tool and say okay split 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 ah, somewhere down in there and then finish and then grab our stair shift middle mouse same thing now we've got some little posts on our steps not necessarily the way you're going to manufacture it but it does give you a better idea of what your end result is going to be and of course you can always go to the cadclips.com webpage and if you go over to our Revit CAD clips inside of here um, you can do a search over here for the word for instance rail and then just hit enter and it'll find all the um, videos that we've got on rails or railings and some of these are a little bit older but the really the railings haven't changed that much stairs have changed but not so much the railing or at least the railing um, configuration of posts and uh, balusters so it would be worthwhile for anyone to go through really all of these uh, railing um, tutorials here to really get a grip on it so um, lots of videos here at CAD clips and of course you can go in here and search for anything you want anytime and it's going to list all the videos on the website and available on DVD.